that's a lot of lightning. Make sure that my sound effects are yeah there. That's the part of me. All right. I'm going to test it, the, the audio. Watch the Twitch website, catches up. Realizes that, yo, I'm streaming. Do you, did you wait until I started streaming to come and bother me? Okay, what do you need? Can you put the washer on me? No, go in your room for quiet time and close the door. That's too bad. <sighs> oh, bitrate looks good. Preview's not happening, but I'm just gonna trust that audio is working because it tends to. So, I'm supposed to be able to get to Mist, the Mist Island, and I don't think anymore that it's from the tree in the Watcher's Pub. I really want to get to Mist Island. But to do that, I think I'm going to have to jump back through the holograms to get to where I need to go. The Bauro Cave-ish things. Now where did that show up on? Oh, that's right. It was all the way around. I should have just come in at the beginning. Yeah, let's just let's just go back. And no, am I really? All right, whatever. And let's go here. Got my coffee. <sighs> and I went the wrong way again to the funky trees. The trees that live in funky town. Now, now, now. I don't. I need to go to where it splits off. Yay, crickets. Oh. Um, well, not here, because that's where it ends. So that means... Over here... There it is. I think there's some symbols I need in the Bahro cave. I hit that one, and that's how I got the thing. Maybe not this. Maybe from the Bahro stone. Huh, okay. Yay, falling into the starry expanse. updated the information for the game I'm playing because I forgot to do that earlier. All right, maybe I was on the right track before. Maybe I was. This one. That's definitely, those are some symbols. I'm not 
not exactly sure how to all right you know what let's let's write them down let's write the inside pieces down because I'm pretty sure I mean they're just Sun on the outside so we got this 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 Okay, now let's go to the next one. And let's Okay. Now let's go to the next one. wondering which way is up honestly if this is what I think it is like the the symbols in the cleft that reader I mean these are way different symbols wait were there only three Oh, there are only three. All right, so let's go back and see if Anane has the fourth one. Actually, is that in? That's the neighborhood. Okay, it's not in here. Got an X. Oh, that's the only symbol in here. So it's going to be a circle with an X. Would be the last one. Circle. There's an X. Okay. Um, I didn't know the Barrow had joined the X Men, but that's cool. So now we go to the cleft. Go to the rainy cleft because I like the rain. Oh, I'm still in here. Even better. That was, in fact, the rain. Got that one already. All right. Should probably turn that off. All right. Now I need to go to this thing and see if any of these symbols match at all. And they don't. So where... Am I supposed to enter in these symbols? Interesting. All right, so not here, obviously. Where 
where else do these symbols go? page the stones all right well let's go back was there another maybe in the watchers pub there's something Hello, two viewers. <laughs> yes, I am indeed playing this gem. I'm playing it on the Gen Shard, which is still uh, adding users, which is not something that, uh, that the official shard does anymore. But uh, good to see you in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a huge fan of Mist. Uh, recently on my YouTube channel, I did a, well, I don't know about recently anymore, but I did a playthrough of, uh, of Real Mist, uh, Masterpiece Edition, I think it was called, and it was amazing and fun and beautiful. Uh, so, if you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, I hear they're still working on, there's a volunteer effort going on to make a Real Mist you know, which is like a 3D playable um, version of uh, of uh, Riven, which I would love to see. I would love to donate to, but apparently they have all the money they need. They just need developers, like volunteer developers, I think. I could be talking out of my butt. That has happened many times in the past. Oh, no, no, don't fall. Uh, from the Gen Shard? I'm playing it G-E-H-N on the Gen Shard. Um, let me see if... Let me grab a link for you real quick. Um, doot. And I even... I don't know if you're a PC or Mac user, but I even got this working on a Mac. Uh, following the directions that are linked to there. So, I guess it is a possible thing. There's nothing to do here. I mean, this says it's clickable, but it's not clickable. As soon as I click it, it goes unclickable. This, I don't, this is not the place to enter in the thing. With the stuff. I usually play this on Tuesday nights, but last Tuesday the shard was down for maintenance. So I didn't get to play it. I played something else, so I'm playing it now. Yes, it's a completely different server that is run and hosted by the Guild of Writers. Um, and there is fan-created content on here. Uh, some of the fan-created content that was intended on going up on the original server. However, the original server's user database is um, still run and supported by Cyan. And Cyan has their hands full with their other indie game that's going on right now and isn't creating users or recovering accounts right now. So unless you already have an active account that you remember the password to, you do not have access to the original servers. Or any of the people that still play on there. Which is super sad face. Um, I have an old account on there where I've done a lot of this already, but not, not everything. Obviously, um, but starting fresh has not been terrible. I'll tell you that. And oh man, where am 
I supposed to put in these flippity flip flippity symbols with the jerk faces? Hey, good good for you, man. That's great. Uh, if you can still access it and log on, good for you. Uh, uh, I wish that were the case for me. Um, and if I get ever re uh, I've been there, ever uh, am able to recover that, I may I may switch over to that um, because there are, it's far more likely that people are going to be on on that server. Uh, than they are here, and, but uh, then I wouldn't be able to complete a lot of the stuff that I am working on completing now. Also, this one actually has the sparklies on monthly rather than just all available. So, um, oh, that reminds me, this this month I got a new sh a new sparkly I need to go after on Tuesday. No, my password is lost in the ether. It's been something like six years, and I have had uh, two children since then, so I don't even have my password. I don't even remember the email address I used to connect or my username. I mean, it, I have a couple that I use, so it wouldn't be too hard to figure out, I suppose, for the username, but the password just, psh, nope, it's gone. It's lost in the annals of time and the webs of the inter, or the interwebs. Yeah, it's, in the end, it's no big deal. I mean, like I said, this shard's got user-created content. It's got some neat stuff, and most of the time it is up and available. So it's it's a good thing. Uh, um, I still, I'm still able to... It's in a prison book somewhere. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Saracen Akinar. No! You have my password. All right, so if it's not... So if I'm not supposed to enter those symbols in the cleft. Where else should I enter those symbols? And it's not in the Watcher's Pub that I could see, unless I'm mi missing something obvious, which is totally a thing. Where would it be? Doop doo doo. Watcher's Pub, very terminal, Toga to add. No, that's all in the Fenrir house. Is user created. There's Kirel. The Valthal Gallery is user created. There's Great Observation. It wouldn't be there. Really should be in the Watcher's Pub. That's where all the Path of the Shell stuff was. I just, I must have missed something. There must be something I'm missing in the Watcher's Pub to be able to enter into those symbols. Can't in their symbols into this viewer. There's nothing to enter symbols into here. I mean, no, this is all nonsense. It's all the the Watcher's sanctuary. Oh, you're welcome for the link. Uh, yeah, if you want to use it for the user-created stuff. They have another shard that I haven't tried out yet that also has different user-created content. Um, I think they use that as, like, their beta shard. So, um, I think that's a thing. So, uh, but I believe that's also linked off of that site. So, uh, if you ever feel the need to wander, do it. Uh, if, if and when I get my account info back on the main shard... Uh, I will I will be discussing with my watchers see what they want me to do um, at that point uh, stuff and things yeah maybe I'll head back and I'll see you there where in the world am I putting in these cause these symbols are just so st strange comparatively Maybe I'm missing something in the cleft. Maybe I need to go to the internet. <laughs> There's nothing. Well, all right, I finished Path of the Shell, both the Ages and Path of the Shell, and I've got the um, 
the symbols in the in the Baro caves uh, that you link to through the Baro stones that are at, left at the end of, of each of the Path of the Shell ages. And if I remember correctly, that I I can enter in those symbols somewhere to get me to Mist Island. Or the remnants of Mist Island, which is which is what I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm not, I mean, there's just so little that's interactable. I went to the cleft, and all those symbols are the other symbols uh, from the from the, the original um, the original path that Yisha sent us on. So now I'm, yeah. So now I'm just trying to find out where I'm supposed to enter in these symbols, and eventually, you know, because Path of the Shell is a little bit on the obtuse side, I may end up heading to the to good old Guild of Greeters walkthrough and do the needful there, but I'd really rather figure it out myself or, you know, whatever. I'd really rather... See, these are... I mean, this is all straight up Anane. I mean, this thing, it's like the, the one that showed the statue in Anane. There's no reason to think that it wouldn't be like that to get to the Mist Book because of Path of the Shell, but I also thought it was it would be in the tree, which apparently it's not. Apparently the tree only is available on the single player version of the game, on Beyond Uru or whatever. On so, makes me a little bit sad, but there's, there's no place. There's not even anything that's interactable here. I made up a word again. Oh, cool. Are enough people using the Gen Shard to actually do the Garden Ages? Nope. I have never seen eight people on at once. I believe it was eight that you need to do the Gen the the uh, Garden Ages. I've seen like a max of three on, so I doubt I'm going to be able to do the Garden Ages. Six is the minimum if they quickly run to the right symbols. Yeah, that's... That means you have people that are doubling up, right? At six. Yeah, was it eight or nine you need to not double up? It's not here. The symbols are not here. could go into the library to see if I can find those symbols. Ugh. Not the library, the gallery. Let's do that. The loading times are faster using the Gen Shard. Uh, they, uh, that I don't know if that's a side effect of either the type of server it's running on, the network it, it connection it's got, or simply that there are few. There's nobody on it. That I'm the only one on it. Also, I'm running it on a decent machine. I don't know if that has anything to do with it either. Um, public links, private links, city locations. Uh, Maybe, where's the, honestly the ferry terminal is probably still the closest. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've I've had very little complaints on the Gen Shard aside from the inability to do the um, the inability to do the uh, Garden Ages, the uh, the um, or not Arcana, but Anane is a little bit buggy with the quabs, the quabs, whatever, but. Uh, for Path of the Shell. No, you do not need to collect the markers for the Great Zero for Path of the Shell. That's a completely different thing. Um, you just, Path of the Shell is two ages where you do the Path Cloths, just like you did with the original four. Um, the Great mark, great Zero markers is, as far as I'm aware, a totally different thing. It's supposed to activate the blue scan line. Um, when you do the, the, the marker hunts, but that's already happened in this, in this shard. So they're just going. Since Kadish is such a jerk face, I doubt that, yeah, this is going to have any of the crack symbols. It's just gonna have the symbols that that madman used. Oh no! Let's turn off the music. I don't want to. I don't want to piss off YouTube's thing later. No, these are not the right symbols. Mushrooms. Nope. That's the pyramid one. Oh, adds the song to your relative music player. Oh, I see. Okay. That that makes way more sense as to why it didn't turn off. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh. Alright, I know yeah, I know what all these are clues for. Uh so it's not Kadish. The big friggin' jerk face. That is a weird one. I don't remember what that was a clue for. <laughs> to go to the internet it's probably something I did and then just overlooked that's usually how it ends up I do almost the right thing ah, da, 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 da. right I've got the symbols the symbols are written down I know what the symbols are and what order they need to go in I just don't know where to enter them In the desert, what, in Minkata? Or in in the cleft? Yeah, I went to the cleft. Here, I'll show you. Let's go to the cleft. I went to the rainy cleft last time. Let's go to the... Uh, Let's go to the not rainy cleft this time. OK, 
get our exercise in for the day. Oh, maybe it was the, that I went to the rainy cleft instead. Well, let's find out. If it's just that I need to go to the, this one, fine. I, if it works, I'll be a happy camper. A happy skippy. I'm not sure that you can be racist to weather. I mean, surely discriminatory. <sighs> well, racist might not be the word you're looking for. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Here we go in the other room. It was here, right? Yeah, these symbols don't match what the symbols that were on the wall. Yep, they're not the right symbols. These are the these are the symbols. That I found. Make sure that that's actually showing up on the camera. Oh, you can see the Dilbert cartoon through it more than you can see the other one. I mean, these are yeah, with the light block. There we go. Those are the symbols right there. So I think I'm going to head over to the internet. Unless you have another idea. I am more than happy to hear it. I find them on the walls of Baro of the uh, the two Baro caves linked to uh, with at the Baro stones at the end of uh, one is at the end of Arcana. Three of the symbols were in at the end of Arca Arcana, and the fourth was at the end of Anane. Uh, they're on the walls. Um, one symbol in yeah, like I said, one symbol in Anane, three in Arcana. Um, the Baro cave had that little pool in the center. I haven't dropped any pellets. You have to drop a pellet to see the symbols? To see the right symbols? I figured the pellet thing was just to make the uh, uh, make the cavern lake light back up.
symbol that is run with an X and it shows the symbols if a rightly prepared pellet is dropped. Oh. So the first three are actually... Oh, so the first three are going to tell me how to create the, the proper pellet then. Is that correct? Pellet, as far as I is as far as I'm always prepared in the same way. Let me check just in case. Because there were there were dials and adjustment bits in the chemical things that uh, in in the uh, things that you use to create uh, to line up the pellet. I guess I need to go power everything back on, don't I? first person them all off to get up. The right number for each setting. Oh! So the number of sun flares is actually the number of, uh, is actually the relevant number. Is that correct? We just need to have one of these on, right? 
No worries. <laughs> uh, so, um, the lines looked like sun rays to me. So it's the 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 sun rays. The number of sun rays is the number of that's the lines that you're talking about that show you the right number for each setting. Correct? They look sort of like sun rays. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, now everything's turned back on. So I am going to hop out of here and go back and get those numbers. Oh, I didn't need to hop out. Well, I sort of needed to hop out now. Because I need to go to the Baro Caves. Or the, the Arcana Baro Cave. And I just removed my own access to it. Oop. Maybe, Skippy, you'd like to click on the right book. I, you know, I don't think I ever got this before because I don't remember it being this complicated. <laughs> but dang it, I just want to get to mist. Why can't I get... There we go. One small bad thing, though, as you might know, the pellets are going to take four IRL hours to prepare. Did not know... That's balls. I hope I don't have to be logged into the game for four hours for that to happen. But that's fine. I will be coming back to the game on Tuesday. At which point... I can, um... Come back to this. Alright, so let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, even. All right. So we go over to this one. We start here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Uh, if Genshard works the same as the normal servers, you won't need to stay logged on. Sweetness, awesome. Oh, that's a lot. I don't think I got my side steps configured correctly <laughs> when I remapped my keys. Okay. So let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I could have guessed that with the pattern that seemed to be coming about. All right, so thank you very much for that help. Uh, Egypt Sinir, I am mangling your, your handle, and I apologize. Egypt Sinir? Egypt Sinir? Egyptianer? I got, I got nothing. Alright, so let's go back and enter in. Call you Eggy. Perfect, Eggy. Will do. If you want to happen to, you know, follow this this little Twitch channel, uh, I'll be I'm back usually on Tuesdays. And now since I got it in, what am I doing? I got it installed on uh, on my Mac. Even when I'm traveling for work, I will be able to log on on Tuesdays and do the missed goodness. Um, so I am looking forward to that be, being more reliable. So the mo now the biggest variable will be 
whether or not the servers are down for maintenance. Unfortunately, the Genshard forum does not have anything more recent than I think 2013 regarding their um, their um, maintenance schedule. And it does not match the times it goes down for maintenance. I don't think, honestly, there's enough people on the on the shard for them to really truly worry about that. Do, 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 do. You know, there've been there've actually been uh, like four or five. Oh, sorry. You'll need a second person t to get the symbols. One needs to activate the pellets so it's dropped, and the second needs to stand below near the pool to actually see the symbols. Symbols so they only appear. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I hand the pellet to someone else after I've created it? I do usually have a friend on here with me that plays at the same time as I do, so it may not be a problem. Um, but can I hand them the pellet after I create it? Create it, or if I create the pellet, do I have to be the one to drop it in? I guess it doesn't really matter. My friend is pretty good at notating symbols. bit of age collaboration needs to happen there. Oh, other side, other side, Skippy. Well, at least, at least I can get the, the pallet being generated. That's a thing that I can do. ladders. Oh wait, have I? I'm going to have to drain that area again. Aren't I? Doggone it, I am going to have to drain that area to get through. machine at the end of the chamber will spit out the pellets once one is ready. A person clicks the pellet to place a hand on top of it, then click the link at the top chamber. Ah! And click the link at the top chamber of the Bajro cave to link to it with the pellet and drop it. I see. So when I refilled up all those tunnels, I did not think about having to walk back through the tunnel because I was going to have to come from the outside. So I'm still going to have to go back in and drain a tunnel. Or drain a... Uh, so to speak. Drain the lizard. That's true. My, my intent was to 
keep the the shell cloth linked uh, to the end room so that I could just go in there straight away without having to come back through and mess here with the uh, pellet uh, with uh, these things uh, so that I could raise the platform to get to the end room that was my intent um, but you might be right so I believe it's number one I want to stop nope it was not number one is it number two no it was not number two trial and error my friends trial and error three nope it's number four I think it's that, what was it, number three? No, it's number four. All of these machines? Because I still have to walk through the tunnel. No, I've got all of, all of these machines are on. Definitely all of these machines are on. But, do all of these have to be on? Because if they do, I'm going to have a hard time getting to where I need to go. So it allows you to enter the numbers. It should be fine. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to go number four. Turn off all the stuff. Get in there. Oh, nope, nope. Wrong way, Skippy. Come to wreck the day. Two day Tuesday you guys dropped the pallets, but no symbols are appearing within the circle that the pallets were wrongly prepared. Just keep that in mind. Perfect, will do. Thank you. You know, I honestly never thought I would be cooking mist. Cooking the pellets and myth. I'm am I am I making meth and mist? Is that what's happening here? All right, let's go to this one because why not? Oh, it's over here. Let's go to this one. All right. So, oh, I see. Okay. It's just borrow food. Your borrow food. Actually, I thought it was food for the bacteria that light up the big light, the big lake in the cavern. Um, so, what so was that? Well, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's five. So for this one, I need 40. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And for the middle one, I need 30. I didn't want to go into much details. Food for the food. <laughs> True. Food for the least? Food for the food for the least. Let's see. And for this one, it needs to be at 20. Yeah, that's right. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And now to make it... Why is that not doing the thing? Is that what I'm supposed to click on? Is there supposed to be a noise? Am I missing something? Is 
This hasn't changed at all. Not everything is turned on if it won't activate. Gotcha. Okay. Check upstairs. I can't get upstairs. I can't get up the elevator because one of the things is turned on. I could use my uh, linking cloth. But see, because I have those rotated and turned on, I, the this thing will not go up. The elevator will not go up. So let me, what I'm going to try to do, because there's no, there's no path cloth between here and there. So I need to turn everything back on and then maybe come back through that end room. The shortcut by the broken bridge. What shortcut? What you stay in? So the, to answer your question was because I didn't know it existed. How do I, how do I do that? The stone block you see there, I believe you can knock that down once you have reached the other side. Oh, well, let me do that from the other side then. Uh, after I turn everything back on. These little tidbits, they're super useful. I remember being able to run straight from the cooking machine to the pellet machine. That would make sense. That would make a whole buttload of sense. so much no I haven't done the pot ages yet yeah, I cannot get through here so I'm gonna have to go up and over maybe I can drop down from above oops can I click the rock is the rock interactable oh oh ho ho oh ha 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 Would you look at that? You are amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hold on, my wife just sent me an image. Of course she does. She gets notifications that I'm streaming, but she still sends me messages. Let's see. Snack accident when you eat all the bacon mind bit by mistake. That's not an accident. That's just that's divine problem. Everything's turned on. And it still won't do it. I do have to pay attention to the waifu. That's correct. Uh, is there a lever I need to pull in here? Do 
Do I have to pull this lever or something? You, you check upstairs. Fine, I'll check upstairs. Especially, I suppose I should pay attention to her when she sends me uh, links to uh, t-shirts that are hilarious. Like Snacksident, when you accidentally eat all the bacon. I didn't you can you have to activate man. this age is Anane was friggin impossible this part of it is just ridiculous all right I mean they're here how do I activate them from here they, they appear turned around and activated Yes, the shell ages are definitely overly complicated. They're all activated. Right? And they're all turned around. So they're on. Maybe the the center bit. Check around the number pads, maybe see if there's something else. Hold on. About this I mean that's the elevator and that's not gonna work it's gonna go up it's gonna get blocked because they're all activated it's blocked and it's gonna go back down you know it's freaking Kadish if Kadish could have just left some sort of manual for this BS. They don't all have to be set to the number, do they? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 30. Yeah, this doesn't line up either. Alright, back to... Try setting all of them to the numbers. Okay. We'll do. That's two out of three. Or two out of four, rather. This one... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That should be 30. And that should be 20. 5, 10, 50, yeah, 20. Okay. I always use all four at the same time. Oh, okay. Look at that. Now, I guess they all have to be on. Alright, it's doing something. Do I have to get them all going? Ice Kitsune, welcome to the channel! Now I am indeed cooking with gas, or whatever else is fueling this. Wind power, perhaps. Do I have to just hit all four? 
to get them all going. Oh no, I can't because it's already doing it. And this, I'm guessing, is the timer. All right, well, now pellets are doing the thing. All of them are on now, okay. That's good. And out here we've got stuff and things happening out here. I've actually never looked down while these things are on. It's empty, even though I filled it. That's great. Timer is the block on the left. Okay, status ticking. Got it. So if I look in here. Ah, this. Gotcha. I see with the hash marks. Okay. And this is some sort of probably pH setting. I would guess. Or whatever setting uh, they're trying to measure. And so when they're done, I assume that this, this bad boy will click on? <laughs> Four hours. Yeah, I'll come back to this. I'm definitely coming back to this. So, this is here. And I don't know what the hell that place is. Like, I went there, but you're just stuck there. And then there's the Baro Cave. This one. Which is not... This is the one that had the symbols that I was looking at. Then there's the one from, uh, from um, Anane, where you have where you're going to be waiting for the symbols to show up when when you drop it, right? So do you? Where did you? You put it up in here somewhere. Hold on. Uh, once a person clicks the pallet, plays ahead top of it, then click the link to the top chamber of the Baro Cave to link it to the. Oh, I see. So that's the top chamber, and the other chamber is below it. Got it. Do, do, do. Okay. All right. Well, that's doing its thing. It's going to take several hours, so we'll come back to that on Tuesday. Uh, I've got a little bit more time. I don't remember if there was something else I was going to do, though. It's just humming away. Doing its cooking. So let's go. Actually, let's go. Ah. What are you doing, controls? What are you doing? The book links to the pellet storeroom. There you can keep your own pellet score for personal bragging rights. Baro Cave is where you drop them for store use. Got it. So if I was a bragger, you know where the link is to the bottom side of the Baro Cave. Yeah, it's in. Um, it's at the end of Anane. In here. I'll go there right now just to show you. I'm surprised that these don't actually show up, uh, these borrow places don't show up in the Denis, in your Denis book like the other borrow stone ones do. So yeah, here's the bottom. Aha, so that is the one, oh, it's for the, really? First person view. There. So up there, that is the one at the end. That is where the the, the stone at the end of Urkana links to. So they drop it from up there. I don't understand why they can't just drop it from here, but whatever. And then I watch the wall there for the symbols to show up. Is that right? Awesome. All right. Cool. 
I'm going to go visit the one up top real quick again. Just because I'm wacky like that. Oh, God, first person. No, no first person. Eh, if I could click on the correct book, it would certainly help. sure that when the pell pellets are dropped that your friend and you are in your version of the borrow cave yeah <laughs> or you might miss it absolutely it may take a bit of linking around but if you first link your friend to the top side and then you go to the bottom side you can see each other if the top side person jumps just do that to make sure oh yes oh absolutely and sharing sharing borrow stones has been a pain in the butt I don't know if it's just that's just this shard or or not I know if I can't even get close enough to jump over, how am I going to drop anything in there? Listen to me complaining. All right, cool. We will figure that out on Tuesday. So let me, Eggie, let me show you. Uh, yeah, we've only completed so far that uh, as far as ages go, only the path ages. So I'll show you the. We've got the, the two circles here. That will automatically drop into the pool once you touch the borrow stone. I don't, oh, really? Wait. What? That makes no sense. Your friend and you are in your version. The cave, you might miss it. You might take a link around. But if you first link your friend to the top side, and then you go to the bottom side, you can see each other. Top side person jumps. Yeah, do that to make sure. I also do that before we have the pellet. I see. Got it, because it's dropping. Okay. Alright. Let's see. And, uh, we're definitely going to have to do Minkata this month to get the sparkly. Because I've got. I've got the March one. I've got the May one. I missed April. Now that it's June, I'm going to have to get the next sparkly. Once you touch the pellet and then touch the borrow stone, you link with the pellet under your hand. Your hand will be above the hole, so it will automatically fall. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Path of Shell. Uber complicated. I mean, almost as complicated as figuring out Dini timekeeping for the pod ages. But speaking of the devil, I did get that. The Dini clock. But yeah, these are the only ages that, that we've finished on the Gen Shard so far. The two paths. Alright, with that everybody, I think I'm going to call this stream an end. Um, if you're into this, I do stream. It's Tuesdays, usually around. I start around 9 p.m. Eastern time. I do have children, so it's always around. I tried to calculate the pot ages myself last time, and then I gave up and figured out some other way to do it. I can't even remember. Um, that is something that I tried to do the last time I ran through the game. Um,. I very likely will not do that this time because I am crazy but I'm not that specific flavor of crazy however uh, the friend that I usually run through the ages with Mojer he is a math genius so we will see uh, he, he we may end up doing that <laughs> I don't know um, I use pot ages timeline the pot ages timeline on the science site there are links for that no I've actually got them already I think um, is it in the forum? I hear you down there. Get back in your room. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I've got the ones that are in the forum. I'm all good there. Um, 
this will this will, uh, has been streaming on my Twitch t uh, Twitch TV slash Skip for J channel. Uh, it will show up later on uh, on actually Tuesday morning uh, Eastern time on YouTube.com slash user slash Skip for J. Uh, if if you're interested in checking it out there or any of the other uh, um, uh, missed stuff we've done. I'm also running through Ori in the Blind Forest there on the YouTube channel uh, weekly. Uh, another issue, or actually another uh, episode of that just dropped today, this morning. Uh, it, it does, and it does almost every Sunday. Uh, I do have kids, so my streaming channel is slightly variable, as in, like, I may start up to a half an hour off usually because children. Because children. So. Uh, but usually I start streaming on Tuesdays around 9 Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time for Miss Stuff, and on Thursdays for Random Game. Lately it's been Overwatch, but that may change sometime soon. Um, I haven't had a lot of interest in people watching Overwatch. I, I got a lot more feedback from the Mist games, so I might do something else for Thursdays. Who knows? If you have any suggestions, hit me up on the YouTube channel or on my Twitch page. Um, if you go over to the YouTube channel and watch the uh, Ori the Blind Forest videos, uh, there is a giveaway going on uh, for the Stanley Parable. So uh, check out the videos on how to enter that uh, for that giveaway. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and uh, my, my blog and my writer each, uh, uh, webpage where you could get all my fiction goodness is davidmcrampton.com. So, Everybody in chat, thank you so much for hanging out and for interacting. It's been wonderful, and the help has been super useful. Thank you so much, and you guys are awesome. Uh, you have a great day. Do not forget that you got this.